I got a message from um, MD Jahangir. Uh, MD wrote, hi, Paul. How do you disable the default predefined next button, not custom? In other words, I think what MD is asking about is the next button or the forward button that's built into the Adobe Captivate play bar. Uh, when the timeline starts and then enable it again when the timeline ends. Thanks. Uh, so um, there's a, a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. I do want to point out that, uh, that, of course, you cannot actually force someone to listen to something or to watch something. But if you wanted to prevent them from moving forward until, let's say, a short video has played, or you want to prevent them from moving forward before they listen to an audio clip that might be five or ten seconds long, this is a way you could do it. So in this case here, I'm just pretending that this is a little video clip that we're going to play back for our users here. And how we can do this is we can write a little advanced action on the on enter action of this particular slide. So let's do that now. We'll execute advanced actions. Now I don't have any advanced actions created so far, but let's click the advanced actions icon and then we can create a simple advanced action that will turn on uh, or sorry, turn off uh, and then turn back on the play bar at the appropriate time. So we're going to call this thing uh, delay play bar. And we're going to be working with a, with a system variable called CP command show play bar. Now, any of the system variables that have CMND or command in them are system variables that function kind of like executing a command and uh, they perform a function. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, assign a value to this um, this function, this command, this variable, if you will, um, so that it does something. And in this case here, it's all about showing and hiding the play bar. So we're looking for CP command show play bar. There it is. And uh, we're going to start off with the literal value of zero. Now, in this case, zero means that it's going to turn off the CP command show play bar. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to delay the next action, which is a command that's available to advanced actions. Uh, and we just need to put in a value. So in this case here, um, we'll say five seconds. So we're going to delay running the next action for five seconds. So in other words, the command play bar, the CP command show play bar will not show the play bar for five seconds and then we can do something else. And in this case, we're going to assign uh, again the same thing, CP command uh, show play bar with a value of one and we're going to turn it back on. So that will make it available. Now what's going to happen normally at this point is it's just going to start continue to play this particular slide. This slide is about 10 seconds long. We actually want it to pause at this point, awaiting, of course, something for the user to do, either click the next button or maybe they want to go back and what have you. So we're going to save this as an action and we're going to close. And just for uh, for an example's sake here, we'll put another content slide here and, um, and, and just so that we can see that we're going to pause on this slide before allowing the course to proceed with the next slide and so on. So let's do a preview of this and see how this works. We're, we'll do an HTML5 in browser. So no play bar and then five seconds in the play bar appears and of course it's paused and now the user can click next and continue with the rest of the project. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.